Have you ever wondered how two neighboring countries stay so connected? The Gorney Howe International Bridge, linking Detroit, Michigan, and Windsor, Ontario, is more than just a $6.4 billion project. It's a symbol of unity, innovation, and progress. Spanning the Detroit River, this new trade route is set to transform travel, trade, and cultural ties between the U.S. and Canada. What makes this bridge so groundbreaking? What challenges shaped its journey? Let's uncover the story of this engineering marvel and its impact on the future of two nations. Why build a new bridge? The Detroit-Windsor border is one of the busiest trade routes between Canada and the United States. Every day, billions of dollars worth of goods pass through this region. In fact, this narrow corridor accounts for nearly a third of all trade between the two countries. For years, the Ambassador Bridge has carried the weight of this traffic. Opened in 1929, it remains the single busiest international border crossing in North America. However, the Ambassador Bridge has several issues. First, it's privately owned, meaning the tolls and revenue don't go back into public infrastructure. Instead, they are used for the bridge's maintenance and profit. Second, the bridge's design is outdated. It only has four lanes, which leads to frequent traffic jams. On top of that, the Canadian side doesn't connect directly to a highway, forcing trucks to navigate narrow residential streets. These problems have made it clear. A modern, efficient crossing is desperately needed. The Gordie Howe Bridge – A Bold Vision Enter the Gordie Howe International Bridge, a project designed to solve these issues and revolutionize border crossings. Named after the legendary hockey player Gordie Howe, who is celebrated in both Canada and Detroit, the bridge symbolizes the strong bond between the two nations. When completed, the bridge will span 2.5 kilometers and feature six lanes for vehicles, along with a dedicated path for pedestrians and cyclists. It will connect directly to major highways on both sides of the border, ensuring smooth and uninterrupted traffic flow. The bridge will also have two massive towers, each standing 220 meters tall, making it the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America. This impressive design not only looks stunning, but also provides the strength needed to support heavy traffic for decades to come. The Economic Importance Why is this bridge so important? The answer lies in trade. Canada and the United States are each other's largest trading partners. Every day, goods worth $3.6 billion cross their shared border. Much of this trade passes through the Detroit-Windsor Corridor. The Gordie Howe Bridge will play a critical role in supporting this trade. By providing a faster and more efficient crossing, it will reduce delays and lower transportation costs for businesses. This, in turn, will boost economic growth on both sides of the border. Additionally, the project itself is creating thousands of jobs during construction. From engineers and architects to construction workers and planners, the bridge is already making a significant impact on the local economy. Challenges and Controversies Building such a massive project is never easy, and the Gordie Howe Bridge is no exception. One of the biggest challenges came from Manuel Moran, the owner of the Ambassador Bridge. For years, he tried to block the construction of the new bridge, fearing it would compete with his privately owned crossing. Moran filed multiple lawsuits against the governments of Canada and Michigan, arguing that the new bridge would hurt his business. He even spent millions of dollars lobbying for a constitutional amendment in Michigan that would require voter approval for new international crossings. Despite his efforts, his lawsuits were dismissed and construction moved forward. Another challenge was the COVID-19 pandemic, which caused delays in construction. Originally planned to open in 2024, the bridge's completion date has now been pushed to 2025. Despite these setbacks, the project has made significant progress, with major milestones being celebrated along the way. A modern engineering marvel. The Gordie Howe Bridge is not just another bridge, it's a masterpiece of modern engineering. Its cable-stayed design is both elegant and functional, capable of supporting heavy traffic and withstanding harsh weather conditions. The two towering pylons, one on each side of the Detroit River, are among the tallest structures in their respective cities. These pylons are connected by hundreds of steel cables that distribute the weight of the bridge evenly, ensuring stability and safety. 
The bridge also incorporates advanced technology to monitor its condition in real time. Sensors embedded in the structure will track things like temperature, stress, and vibration, helping engineers maintain the bridge and extend its lifespan. Sustainability and Connectivity One of the key goals of the project is sustainability. The Gordie Howe Bridge has been designed to minimize its environmental impact. During construction, efforts have been made to protect the local ecosystem, including the Detroit River, which is home to diverse wildlife. The bridge also promotes alternative transportation methods. Its dedicated pedestrian and cyclist paths encourage greener ways of crossing the border. This is a significant step toward reducing the carbon footprint of international travel. Connectivity is another major benefit. For the first time, travelers will have a seamless highway-to-highway -highway connection between Detroit and Windsor. This will save time, reduce congestion, and make border crossings more convenient for everyone. Funding and Future Plans The Gordie Howe Bridge is a massive investment, with an estimated cost of $6.4 billion. Interestingly, the entire project is being funded by the Canadian government. This includes not just the bridge itself, but also the ports of entry on both sides of the border. To recover these costs, Canada plans to collect tolls on its side of the crossing. All revenue generated will go directly to Canada, making this a long-term investment in the country's economy. Once the bridge is operational, it could pave the way for other infrastructure projects. Its success will set a new standard for international crossings, inspiring similar developments around the world. The Legacy of Gordie Howe Naming the bridge after Gordie Howe is a tribute to a man who represents the bond between Canada and Detroit. Known as Mr. Hockey, Howe played for the Detroit Red Wings and is considered one of the greatest players in the history of the sport. The decision to name the bridge after him reflects the shared history and friendship between the two nations. It's a reminder that this project is not just about steel and concrete, it's about people, connections, and relationships. Gordie Howe himself was honored by the dedication, saying it was a fitting tribute to the ties between Detroit and Canada. Looking ahead, with construction nearing completion, the Gordie Howe Bridge is set to become a symbol of progress and collaboration. It's not just a crossing, it's a promise of a stronger, more connected future for Canada and the United States. The bridge will improve trade, reduce congestion, and create new opportunities for growth. It will stand as a testament to what can be achieved when two nations work together toward a common goal. As we look ahead, the Gordie Howe Bridge reminds us that infrastructure is about more than just moving people and goods. It's about building bridges, both literal and metaphorical, between communities, economies, and nations. What do you think about this incredible project? Will it redefine how we see infrastructure in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed learning about this groundbreaking bridge, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories about the world's biggest projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.